Hello fellow forgers, welcome to FOE Advance. I'm Bonfrey from L World and this channel is dedicated to all players looking to maximize their gameplay on FOE. Be sure to submit questions you want answered in the comments for future episodes and if you like what you hear, go ahead and ring the bell and subscribe. Um, today I'm talking about something that I don't address that much which would be lower era fighting. Uh, so in particular, I want to focus in on GVG, GBG, and uh, how attack percentages uh, can assist you uh, with multiple battles and not having to negotiate as much, uh, as well as the troop setups I recommend you use in order to um, avoid losing so many troops in battle. Uh, obviously, a high-level Traz is a great idea if you can get it there you know in this case there's um just a, a level 13 traz in this in this town a uh, co-worker of mine graciously let me uh record on his screen because he's an lma right now uh so i'm just going to show you the setups and some of the the things i would recommend so first off let's look at the boost overview so um this player has been focusing quite a bit on bumping the attack uh, percentage and attack defense or defense while attacking percentage. In this case, actually done a really good job of getting this number up high, which is very important. Um, you, you will be able to do more fights and lose less troops if you get this number to be at least what your attack percentage is if you keep these kind of in the same area, or even if this is higher like this. At this point, I think what I would recommend this player do is kind of ease up on going after uh, defense while attacking buildings and then bring up this straight percentage of attack over here. Now, some of your GBs are just going to do both for you anyway. You know, as you know, uh, most likely there are several GBs that will help you with this. You know, the TA, the, uh, the um, uh, Castle Del Monte CDM, your Zeus, your COA, etc. So, that's a way to, to basically boost both these numbers at the same time. Anyway, what I wanted to do is actually give you a real world example of fighting in uh, GBG, Guild Battleground. And this is a sector where I believe we have three uh, siege um, uh, outposts or siege camps um, helping us, two on this sector, one on this sector. So it's a pretty good situation to keep attrition low which is awesome. Okay, so in this setting, I, I, you know, I always want to auto battle. I mean, I'd recommend that for everybody because uh, manual attack is very time consuming and of course, um, just kind of can get monotonous and annoying. So if I see um, fast moving troops, okay, fast units, I don't use uh, artillery, but the rest of the time I do use artillery. So this greatly simplifies the military setups or the racking as I like to call it, you know, how you rack your troops. So in this case, I'm going to, I got these, these three fast movers, the, the horses to deal with. So what I'm going to do is get rid of all these. And then I'm going to, of course, pick the troop that has an attack advantage against fast movers, which, it, which would be your, uh, in this case, the great sword warrior, because he has a bonus of versus a, a fast unit. So I'm going to grab three of those. I'm going to grab three rogues, and then I'm going to hit auto battle. And in this case, okay, I lost one guy. Not too bad, all things considered. Attrition right now is at 11. Uh, so, you know, there's, they're going to take some hits on so, some, some of the battles. Okay, now over here, okay, we don't have any fast movers. We don't have any, any horses. So what we're going to do, and of course, at lower ears like this, you don't have any flying troops to worry about uh, that your um, uh, artillery units can't hit. Because, you know, as, as you may or may not know, you cannot hit any flying troops with an artillery unit. Uh, so anyway, in these lower ears, that's a convenience. So I'm going to auto battle with my eight artillery, hit it again, lost one. I'd say that's a pretty good win right there. So I'm just going to keep going. Okay, I got fast movers again. So now I'm going to do the same thing. I think I'm going to go with four um, swordsmen this time. Uh, since I lost one the last time, I just see what happens. Uh, of course, you, you know, you can, I lost a rogue. You, you can mix, mix these up a little bit, but as a rule of thumb, I just like to move really quick through these battles. And again, I see horses, so I'm just going to kind of do the same thing I did before. And uh, there we go. So that, that went good. 
and uh, let's see, we've got some horses mixed in there too. So I think, you know, you get the idea, but basically in this setting, you know, we've got a mixture of heavy, light, uh, and fast troops. So I think what I'm going to do is mix this in a little bit. I'm going to have two lights. I'm going to grab two heavies, um, and I'm going to put in four rogues. So now these rogues are going to do whatever they're going to do. They may turn into, you know, there's just some percent chance they're going to turn into uh, a light unit or the heavy unit, just depending on what the AI decides since I'm auto battling. Uh, well, even if I'm not auto battling, they, you know, they're going to do what they're going to do when they get hit. So uh, I'm just going to auto battle there and there you go. So lost one guy, not too bad. Uh, and I got five Imperial Guards as an award. So anyway, that's that. those are my setups for GBG in LMA. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, run into GE real quick. And in GE, okay, so I'm on, uh, right now we're on level one. Uh, it's a Monday, so things just started. And in this case, let's see, I've got, uh, well, I got, see, I got three fast guys on the, on the second round, second wave there. So rather than actually three of those, that's not too bad. I'm going to, I'm going to try just all cannons and see what happens. I just call them cannons, but whatever they are. Um, yeah, they are cannons. Okay. So I'm going to hit, okay, that went fine. And yeah, only three horses. They can't really take down eight cannons. So, so then we move on and do it again. And then we see, okay, uh, only one horse, no problem. I'm going to just hit him with cannons. Fine. We just mow them right down. Um, and what's great about this, having these, uh, you know, elevated attack percentages is that you can fight further, uh, down, you know, further along in GE without having to get into negotiations. So I'm not exactly sure how far in this account, uh, my, my, my buddy's account can, uh, can go before, um, you know, he, he has to be, start negotiating, you know, like whether it's GE3 or GE4. But the point is, is that, you know, the higher your attack percentages, the better you're going to be. Okay, I got four horses here. That's going to be a mess. So if I use cannon, so I'm going to go with, uh, again, light units. I'll do four, and then I'm going to do four rogues. Now, these, these ratios of rogues to units are going to change greatly over eras. So if, if you, we were in CE, for example... Um, this setup, if I did a heavy setup with rogues, I would only be using one or two tanks, uh, of the, you know, the heavy troop that's, that's there. And I'll probably do an episode on that. Cause I, I have another, um, friend that's, uh, that's NCE right now. So I'll probably do a recording on that as well. But, um, anyway, th this is what I'm doing down here because, you know, th these guys just aren't as powerful as certain units and, uh, I'm going to hit auto battle and see what happens. So great, barely took any damage on that, no worries. And then uh, I'm gonna. This is a little bit bigger sector here to deal with. Um, with uh, okay, so this is a two wave attack. I got two horses. Let's see, two horses on the first. Uh, I think I'm gonna actually try four can try eight cannons on this. I'm gonna see what happens. And let me go from there. Yeah, that went pretty good. I only had two horses. So again, very minimal losses. I really like the eight the eight cannon setup um, on eras, you know, pretty much on up in, into like maybe FE. Uh, but of course, when you get to TE and FE, you're going to have some really awesome heavy troops, uh, the tanks in particular, and that's when you you pretty much don't need to worry about any, any of this other stuff I've been talking about. But um, that's what I have for attacking and troop setups in LMA. Uh, I hope this has been useful and helpful for those of you players that are in this era and maybe still exploring the game a little bit or maybe you've been playing a long time and, you know, it's just a different perspective on how to approach uh, strategy. So, again, I hope you enjoyed this and if you like it, please comment, subscribe, etc. And I will see you at the next episode. Uh, please forge on and enjoy yourselves.